This episode is brought to you by the Let's Code Physics Patreon supporters. Today we're going to take a look at pyramids in vPython. Pyramids are useful if you need to point at something and you don't want to use an arrow with its arrowhead pointing back this way, or if you're looking to do some unique you know, little position indicators or data indicators or something. Um, the way the pyramid is set up is that it has a square base, and so then it has four triangular sides that come up to a point here. The default is for the pyramid to point to the right. Now, you're probably accustomed to thinking of pyramids as pointing upward. So I'll try to rotate here. Uh, there we go. So if you're more accustomed to your pyramids pointing upward, uh, the way you can change that is with the axis property. So when you create a pyramid, you can specify an axis. So let's suppose we change the axis to 0, 1, 0. Um, axis is, of course, a vector. It's got to have an X component, Y component, and Z component. And so it's going to take this vector, turn it into a unit vector that points in a direction, Control-2. And there's our pyramid pointing upward, the way we typically think of a pyramid. And that axis can point in any direction. In fact, this is a great way to help students learn about vectors is because they can easily think of this as pointing in a direction. They don't have to worry about all the other stuff about an arrow. Uh, let's suppose we make this a negative one. Uh, it's going to flip that upside down. So now the pyramid points in the negative y direction. Uh, so if you wanted to, you could create two pyramids, one pointing in the plus direction, one pointing in the minus direction. And there you go. You've got a uh, you've got a d8. You've got an octahedron there. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's comment this one out for now. Uh, we can also have this thing point in the Z direction, of course. Control 2 to run. And there it's pointing outward at the screen. And like I said, you can turn that into any vector you want. So I could make this uh, negative 1, 1, and a half. Half, there we go. Control 2. And then you've got it pointing in that direction. So you can just specify any direction you want. And of course, with most, as with most things in vPython, uh, this pyramid has a size. The size is also a vector that gives you the length, width, and height of it. Uh, let's see, the default value is 111, which means this pyramid points uh, the same length uh, in, the, uh, in this direction, this direction, and in this direction. Let's suppose we change that a little bit. Let's make that 113. There we go, and now we've got uh, one of our uh, sides of the pyramid getting longer. Uh, let's see what happens when we change the Y component as well. There we go, we've got it back to being a square base. And so it's the X component that controls this height right here. So if I want to make the pyramid taller, I can change the X component. Let's make that a six, control two. And there we go, we're back to a tall steeple-like pyramid, which is pretty cool. You can also specify which of the sides is going in the upward direction. So by default, that's 0, 1, 0 in the y direction. Let's suppose we change this to a 1, 0, 0. And let's turn the size back to normal and the axis back to normal. So let's make this a 1, 0, 0. But now I've changed what its definition of up is. And so you can see that ends up rotating the uh, then it's rotating the pyramid just like it did with the axis. So it's kind of the same effect as axis. I'm not really sure if there's a benefit to using both axis and up. Um, there's probably some more fancy stuff you can do with that if you need to make your pyramid more complicated. But let's suppose you wanted to use this in a physics class about motion, and you wanted to help students learn the difference between position and velocity. So let's call this P for pyramid. What we're going to do is set up a loop. So let's say while true. Uh, we'll give this thing a, let's see, I would like this thing to go around in a circle. So let's make that a function of time. We'll start out time equal to zero and we'll have a time step of 0 0.1. And let's see, what we'll do is have uh, pyramid.position equal to vector. Let's have its x component go like the cosine of time, and its y component go like the sine of time, 
and a C component stay at zero. So that's gonna automatically make this thing go in a circle. Oh, right, I actually have to update the time. I always forget to do one of those things. Time equals time plus DT. I always forget either the time update or the rate. Either way, it doesn't end up working the way I would like it to. And so you can see it's moving around and students can see that it's moving there. But what I could do, for example, would be to have the pyramid point in the direction of its velocity. So let's suppose I change the pyramid's axis to point along, let's see, I need derivatives of these things. That's gonna be negative sine of time and derivative sine gonna be cosine of time. Derivative of zero is zero, last time I checked. And so now what'll happen is that this thing's gonna spin around and it's gonna point in the direction that it's rotating. Now it's, it looks like it's spinning around this point right here. So let's maybe give that a little bit more of a radius. Uh, let's make it a radius of two. So call this radius times cosine. Oh, I could just put this in front of the vector, can't I? That's a little bit faster. Radius times the vector, radius times the vector. And that's just going to make a spin around like this. So now, oh, it kind of looks like a paper airplane. So now I can show my students that its position is changing along this way and that its position changes based on the direction that the velocity points. Um, let's actually decrease the time step a little bit. Let's make this a little bit more smooth, a little bit smoother. There we go. So now I can see the thing is moving around and it's always moving in the direction that this thing is pointing. Um, as with most objects, I can add a make trail to this. Make trail equals true. And there you go. Now I've got a nice little demonstration of circular motion where this thing is uh, always moving in a different direction and I can see where it is and I can see what direction it is moving in. So that's a little bit of information about pyramids in vPython. Hope that's useful to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.